Now recently the government introduced an action plan for New Zealand dogs that would see the SPCA banned from rehoming dogs because of their breed. Now the SPCA's Chief Executive Officer Andrea Midgen joins us now. Hi Andrea. Hi, how are you going? Very well, thank you. Cool. First of all, we've got to say hi to Hurley, who's very cute. Yes, this is Hurley. He's struggling to stay awake at the oh. moment. He's just a little 10 week old puppy that came to us um, about four weeks ago. Wow. Tell me, what does this proposed change mean for the SPCA? This, this change that's been proposed would mean that um, creatures like Hurley um, wouldn't be able to be adopted out of animal shelters like SPCA because of their look. Right, is that because it, he's perceived to be a certain breed or, or has a certain temperament? Yep, so they're classing any dog um, that is like a pity type dog um, as a menacing breed which is needs to be um, contrasted with dangerous breed dogs. So dangerous breed dogs are those that have ha performed an act that's dangerous, so they've bitten right. someone or attacked someone. Um, a menacing breed, it's a possibility that they might, right. and they just go on the looks of the dog to say that that might be one of those. He is just absolutely adorable though, and he, I can see his little eyelids falling down, it's yeah. so cute. What is his story? So Hurley came to us, he was found by a taxi driver that um, ferries around special needs people. Um, he was dropping one of those people off in Takanini um, about four weeks ago and found Hurley in a box, in a cardboard box. So he brought Hurley into the SPCA and we've checked him out and vaccinated him and desexed him and he's now up for adoption. Do you know what his temperament is at this age? Look at him. No. I mean, he is the most chilled out, friendly dog. We had a family, a beautiful family in on Saturday that's looking to adopt him. They've got three children, sort of from five to 11 years old, and um, he was just gorgeous with them. They were fantastic with Hurley. And that's the thing about this legislation. You know, it's, it's about deed, not breed. Right. Um, a dog has got a nature and like children. So a dog's like a, um, about a two, two and a half year old child. And the family environment often determines what that child is going to end up in life. It must be so rewarding for you when a family really connect with a dog that you have in your care. It's special. I mean, it's absolutely heartwarming. Um, and these, these creatures, you know, whether it's dogs or cats or whatever, these companion animals, they make the family. Yeah. What sort of checks do you do when it comes to pairing animals and homes? We have really stringent criteria. So first of all, before a dog is even put up for adoption, we assess them on a health perspective and on a temperament perspective. So if we thought that there was any aggressive behaviour in a dog, we wouldn't put it up for adoption. We'd either work with it or we've got a number of ways that we deal with that. But once they've been through that, um, people come in and, and they might like look at Hurley and go, oh, we'd like to adopt him. But we're quite strict yeah. on who we adopt to as well. Mm. So people have to have properly fenced um, property. They have to have the family environment that fits the nature of the dog. So if it's a really high energy family, it's probably right. not going to work for Hurley. And I can see that we might be boring him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so he, no he sleep. can sleep there. <laughs> what are you doing as in the SPCA about the changes, the proposed changes? So we're working very closely with the Department of Internal Affairs who's um, helping formulate this policy. We're trying to educate them about what's happened around the world. So predominantly um, in countries like Germany, Italy, Netherlands, many parts of America and even in Australia just recently, any breed specific legislation that's been brought in has now been repealed because that legislation has not worked. They need to look at the other end of the leash. So it's the owners and the education of the owners. It's about being a responsible pet owner. Have you got pets yourself? Probably a stupid yeah. question. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Must be the best job though, being able to interact with, with beautiful little dogs like Hurley every day. It is. It, I'm, I'm so blessed. It's the best job in the world. Some days it's really, really hard because we have to make hard decisions about animals mm. and we see the results of some very um, cruel and vicious people um, and the impact on animals. But whenever you're having a really, really bad day, you just go down and find a Hurley oh, or a cool. bunny or a kitten and you just have a bit of a cuddle. And Thank you so, so much. Great. Oh, it's so nice to see him in here. Thank you so much, Andrea, and thanks for joining us again. We've got a $50 Pet of the Week voucher available if you want to jump on our Facebook page and post your favourite pet pick to be in to win.